Hello all, welcome to the Engine channel. In this video, I will present to you this Hall effect sensor that have a uh, slightly different from the others. The component code of this one is AH276. According to the datasheet, it's a complementary output Hall effect latch sensor. And as we can see, this one have four pins different of the others that we already tested in this channel. As an example of how effect sensor with three pins, we have 41F. So let's find out how this how effect sensor with four pins and a complementary output latch works. As you can see, I already have mounted in the breadboard the how effect sensor and for proceed with the connections, we need to check the datasheet regarding the pin number and pin name and as well the function of each pin with this table is much more easier proceed with the connections in the breadboard i already did the connections between the pin one and the positive with a red wire and the connection with pin number four that is the gnd or negative with the black wire connected to the negative of the breadboard. The remaining pins of the sensor, as we can see in the table, it's output of the sensor, means that pin 2 and pin 3 will change once the sensor detects some magnetic field. As we can see, the datasheet also provides a block diagram to see how is the functionality of each part of the sensor. For the bolt output, is easy clear to see that the configuration of the transistor in the output is different for each one. One thing that is very clear is that bolt outputs are digital outputs, means that only two states we will have in the outputs. For the power supply, I will use this DC-DC converter. This one is already adjusted to around 5 volts DC. Once we have the power supply, it's just necessary to do a connection to energize the breadboard. In the upper line, the blue one, we have the negative and below we have the red line of the breadboard that is the positive. So far now we already have the sensor connected with the positive and negative with around 5 volts DC. Now we just need to check the outputs. However, for the outputs we need to check the datasheet because there is a detail when we want to use the outputs. So as we can see, a resistor is necessary for each of the output. The value is around 820 ohms. This is for the 14 volts DC. As we are using 5 volts DC, it's possible to use a lower resistor. For example, 270 ohms. This resistor shall be connected in the positive and we works as a pull up resistor to polarize the transistor that is in the open collector mode. Now with both resistor connected, we already have all that is necessary to start the test and the measurements in the outputs. To make more easier to understand how is the behavior of the outputs, I will add one LED per output. So, when the magnetic field approach to the half effect sensor, we can see the transitions in the outputs. The connection of LED is very simple because we already have the resistor in the outputs. So, to add the LED, it's just necessary to connect the positive of LED in the output and the negative of LED in the negative of the breadboard. An important reminder is the long pin leg of the LED is the positive of the component and the short leg is the negative of the LED. So as we can see when they finish the second connection of the LED, we can see that the output of the pin number two, it's making the LED turn it on. However, the other output in the pin number three keep the LED turn it off. So the first conclusion is that the outputs are 
complementary. Once one half the logic state 1, the other output will be the logic state 0. Now let's proceed with the actuation of the Hall effect sensor through a magnetic field. This will be generated by a magnetic that I have in my hand. Other important detail is regarding the polarity of the magnetic field. And this polarity will be generated by the north pole or the south pole of the magnetic. For this magnet that I have in my hand, the concave surface is the south pole and the other side, the flat surface is the north pole. So take note that depending of the pole of the magnetic will be a positive or a negative magnetic field. So let's start with the south pole approaching to the sensor and we can see that a reversion of the LEDs will be occurred. The output number 2 will be go to off and the output number 3 go to on. Other important detail is that even though the removal of the magnet, the states of the LED keep with the last state. That's why in the datasheet that we have the information of the latch function of this Hall effect sensor. If we try again with the salt pole, we can see that nothing happened. However, to make that the LED change again, we need to revert the polarity of the magnetic. Now approaching with the north pole, we have the change of the output of the Hall effect sensor. Other option that we have to change the state of the output of the Hall effect sensor is approaching the magnet by the back of the sensor means that the opposite of the mark code of the sensor. By this way, we can change the output with the same pole. For example, I'm approaching with the south pole in the front and then we have the transition. And now I will approach with the same south pole to the back so we can see the transition of the outputs through the LED. So this was the demonstration of the complementary output how effect latch sensor. Sensor code AH276. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this one and see you soon.